What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is uh, December 17th, of 2022. Hope everybody's doing well. I do, I do, I do here. Um, 4.50 a.m. Yeah. Um, okay, so um, thanks for all the love and support to the channel. We're like 16,050 subscribers, so thanks so much for all the love and support. Appreciate you guys. If you think anyone else would like my channel, please feel free to share it on social media and word of mouth. I appreciate it. Confirmation for my kitty, and he hasn't been going off all morning. Bad boy and intuitive one, both of them. Okay, so um, I received a couple downloads. I'm going to offload them. I hope everybody's doing well. Okay, so the first one I heard was, um, I heard it a, de a detective and a Fed agent, so at least two energies, a detective and a Fed agent, I heard are watching, my, I heard my channel, my channel, because um, uh, I heard they heard I was a psychic investigator. That was the first one. So, I mean, I got that for a reason. So, I guess my collective should know <laughs> that there's at least two energies out there watching my channel because they heard I was a psychic investigator. Um, one's a police officer and one is a, um, a fed. So, um, holla, holla, holla. Welcome into my channel. Um, whoever you guys are, I don't know if you're a man or a woman, mask on our fem. Um, but that, that's the first one. And the second one I heard, um, I heard um, karmic tarot readers. I heard they're very, very, very highly money motivated, and I heard they have made a lot. I heard they made a shit ton of money off the Secret Seven in the past, and I did hear Secret Seven. Um, they're karmic tarot readers. They're very, very, very highly money motivated. They made a shit ton of secret uh, money off the Secret Seven in the past. I heard through many series of chain of events, many of them are about to start getting very mentally disturbed. Um, because they know they were involved with sex trafficking in the past. I heard some of them have, um, some of them are recovering addicts. Some are going to go back to secret drug use. And some, um, some have severe mental health issues and they're going to get, uh, exa severely exacerbated. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, why? Okay. I just don't even know what to say. I don't know what to say about that. I don't. I don't know what to say about that. I mean, you make the choices. Everybody has choices to make in life. Every single person does. Are you going to um, go because of money? Are you going to do it because of money motivation? Now, should you be money? Should it be money motivated if you deserve it? Yes. Yes. Yes, it should. If you like in a professional career. And you truly deserve it to be paid more and stand up for yourself, then yes. But I, I, not money laundering, not secret seven, not child sex trafficking. That's not how we make our money, people. And that's just the truth. Female needs to hear that. Whoever these comic tarot readers are, they're about to, there's about to be severe mental disturbances here because apparently they have made their money off of Secret Seven. Well, Secret Seven was a bunch of magic and cover-ups and drama that affected a poor little family and that's just the truth because they don't want to admit the truth and money laundering and extortion and embezzlement and all kinds of wonderful crimes not just saying just saying which turned into a huge deal because nobody wanted to do the right thing um yeah, and then it turned into child sex trafficking because they tried to set single mom Leo up, but it backfired. And that's just the truth. So anyways, still a cover up to this day or they're attempting to make it a cover up, but it's it's coming out. It's coming out whether they want it to or not. It's already, actually already come out. Um, whether they want it to or not. They just don't want to admit it. But yet, it's already out, but yet they have the money. But here's the deal. Not all money is good money. So, hell, they can have child sex trafficking. And that's the way I look at it. 
These people could have child sex trafficking money all day, damn day till the cows come home. Because that's not clean money. Money laundered money is not clean money. Child sex traffic money is not clean money. So the way I look at it, these people can, I mean, do you guys want child sex traffic money? Do you guys want extorted money? Do you want money laundered money? I sure as fuck don't. I don't. Because eventually these assholes are going to get caught. They just are. And that's just the truth. Of course, like I said, everybody has choices to make. So, um, it seems like some of these karmic tarot readers chose to take the extorted money, the money laundered money, the child sex traffic money, because they're greedy. But now they're about to start having mental health issues. I heard some of them, they're former addicts, recovering addicts. They're about to go back to secret drug use. Secret drug use. Why? To cover up their ego, to feel bad for all the shit, all the money they took and all the bad shit they did and the exploitation of a family in the past. All they had to do was tell the truth. And that's just the truth. All they had to fucking do was tell the truth. But yet, they didn't choose to do the right thing. And that's just the damn truth. That's for some of them. I mean, I'm not saying that's why they're going to go back to secret drug use, but there's a reason why they're going to go back to not loving themselves. And anytime you put drugs in your body, shooting up, snorting up, Peeling it up. Whatever the fuck you're doing. You're not loving your body. If anybody needs to hear that. <laughs> just saying. Just saying. That's not loving your fucking self. Okay. Um, I heard they're going to go back to secret drug use. Well. That's on you. Just saying. Just saying. That's not a good choice there. Because eventually one day you're going to get caught. Maybe one day you end up in prison. That's for some of the karmic terror readers. For the other ones, I heard they have uh, mental health issues and they're going to get exacerbated. So whatever, I didn't hear specifically what kind of mental health issues that is. So you plug it in, how it resonates. For one of these karmic terror readers, they're about to go back to drug use very soon. They're secretly very lonely and depressed. They will, they will probably overdose soon. They do not have to worry about money anymore. Oh my God. Okay, I heard for one of these karmic tarot readers, they will probably go back to secret drug use very soon um, because they're very lonely. They're very lonely and um, so I guess they are very lonely and depressed. I heard they're lonely and depressed. They're lonely and depressed, but yet they don't want to go out and meet nobody. If you're lonely and depressed, go out and meet somebody. At the bar, at a movie, in the park. And that's just the truth. Don't not love yourself by shooting up and snorting up. What the fuck they're doing? Peel popping? What? That's fucking crazy. But and that's not my life. That's power of choice. Just saying, just saying. Um, how that resonates, that's for one of the karmic terror readers that was involved in the Secret Seven and choosing money over decency, basically. Well, I mean, I just don't know what to say about that. Everybody has choices in life to make. Apparently, you made a shit choice, many shit choices in life. So, I don't know what to say about that. I just don't. I mean, I can't say I have compassion about that because you choose to you chose to exploit a family in the past for money. Um, when you could have done the right thing. So, I mean, I'm just saying. Apparently very money motivated. And it's going to be money motivated if you do it the right fucking way. I just want to put that out there too. And someone's minor child is about to overdose soon. Shockingly overdose. And they will die. It is someone that was involved heavily with the Secret Seven in the past. And it will be very publicly known and that it, it will get around like wildfire. Oh my God, I'm going back to bed, man. It's 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Okay, and I heard someone's... Um, 
Someone that was heavily involved with Secret 7 in the past. I heard the, uh, their child's about to overdose. Um, I heard it's going to be shocking that nobody's going to, I guess, expect it or, uh, I guess, expect it. Uh, but I heard they will overdose. Um, how that resonates and applies. For one, they're a pill popper. Secret narcotics. For one, they shoot up. Okay, well, I don't know what the hell they're shooting up. Okay, so for one, they, uh, there's at least two children, uh, teenagers, teenagers, two teenagers uh, of people that were heavily involved with Secret 7 in the past, basically. At least two. One is a heavy uh, pill popper, secret narcotic, I'm assuming opioid um, pill popper. I don't think they're popping um, old tramps. I think it's like uh, Norcos or some shit, and that's just the truth. Uh, get the narcotic in there, the opio opioid, just saying. Um, and one is a, um, a shooter. They shoot it something up. So, but I heard, so, now what they're shooting up, I don't know. I don't know if that's heroin. If it if it's heroin, if it's meth, if it's a the newest street, whatever, 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 I don't know. I've never done drugs except for one time, eighteen years old, my crazy ass older sister gave me a damn Molly, and I was like eighteen. I literally just turned legal, and then she filmed me licking a fucking hamburger, crazy ass. Um, so that's the only time I've ever done any kind of like crazy drugs, except for some weed, but that should be legalized everywhere. And that's just the truth. Um, so that's the only time I've ever done anything. And I was 18 years old and that's the only time I've ever done it. I'm 39 years old. That's been a long ass time ago. But my point is, is two of these people's, um, uh, kids. They were heavily involved in Secret 7 in the past. They're secret drug users. They're about to pass away, shockingly. And I heard soon. So you plug in how it resonates. These people think money is everything. They're about to get a huge ass wake up call. Mental health is more important. Okay, I heard these people think money is everything, but they're about to get a huge ass wake up call that mental health is more important. Well, yeah, it is because. If it, it the crazy ass is connected to the secret seven in the past, if anybody needs to hear this, if your kid is doing drugs, that is a mental health disorder. If anybody needs to hear that, I don't care if it's secret or everybody in the mama knows it. If your kid is doing drugs, that is a mental health disorder. Just saying, just saying. If you have a drinking problem, if you have a drug problem, that's a mental health disorder. Just saying, just saying. Someone else is getting a huge wake up call. Someone else is uh, someone else is getting a huge wake up call. I'm serious. If you've got a sex addiction, if you've got an alcohol addiction, if you've got a drug addiction, any kind of addictions, that's a mental health disorder. So apparently, these people think money's everything. Well, I'm sure they did. They got involved with fucking Secret Seven. That was all about the fucking money, exploiting a fucking family. And using the energy, off, good energy off of family. It had, that, that was about magic, exploitation, spiritual abuse of that family, and money. Period, point blank. Exploitation and abuse of that good family. Period. That's basically what Secret 7 was. And then there was a cover up. But it still was out anyways. People just don't want to talk about it. Because they know what the fuck they did. Because they took all the money. But like I said, I said earlier in the video, I'm glad they did. And I, I mean, a lot of you like the side people. If you were involved with Secret 7 and you didn't take the money, I'm glad. I would hope you were glad you didn't either. Because that dirty fucking money made off of somebody, people's naked bodies that didn't want to be exploited and abused. But I'm going to repeat. If. Somebody has a drug addiction or alcohol addiction or sex addiction or a gambling addiction. 
That is an addiction. That's a mental health issue. And that's just the truth. Just saying, just saying. So, people connected to the, heavily connected to the Secret Seven in the past, they're teenagers. I heard they're teenagers, both teenagers. They're addicted, secretly addicted to some kind of drugs. Whether it's something you shoot up like meth or heroin or the latest street drug or whatever the fuck it is. Or um, some kind of secret pill popping. I strongly feel, oh, I strongly feel opioid here. I don't think it's not, I don't think it's old tram. Non-opioid. Just saying, just saying. All right, I didn't hear anything else, but I heard these people are so money motivated. So, meaning they they think money is just the ruler of all of everything. But the thing is, is they're not obviously looking after their kids enough, or they secretly know that they're secretly fucking doing drugs, and they're okay with it. But that's not really protecting somebody's mental health. Protecting their kids' mental health would be getting them some rehab treatment, or finding out they're doing the drugs and getting them some rehab treatment. Killing a good mother or father's love instead of enabling the fucking drug use. I don't care if you have $10 million in the bank or 10 And that's just the truth. If anybody needs to hear that, just say it. Be a fucking good right person. Be my needs to hear that too. All right, I'm closing it out. Many shocking series of chain events are about to cover this situation very soon. These people are about to get huge ass wake up calls. Many shocking series of chain events are about to cover these situations very soon. People are about to get huge wake up calls. Well, good. I hope. I hope so. Protect the kids' mental health. It's not about all about money, people. Yes, you should be able to go out there and make a good life, but you shouldn't do it off the backs of a poor family and exploit and use them and drain, succubus their fucking energy dry. And then try to cover it up. Just saying, just saying. Love you guys, namaste.